Hi guys, here we are on Saturday, September 8th, 2012, as Austin, Texas enjoys its first cold front. Cold front, that's the word they're using for it, with a high of a brisk 92 degrees. All right, a regular Arctic blast here in Austin. Uh, speaking of the Arctic, uh, I've been doing so many of my rants on, uh, as I should be, on, on, on all of the various uh, environmental crimes going up uh, north of here that I've kind of uh, lost track of what's going on south of here in the tropical rainforest. I've been on vacation and whatnot. So I have not checked in with a website that I have mentioned several times and continue to promote here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe and it is the best uh, tropical forest conservation website on the planet. It's called mongabay.com M-O-N-G-A-B-A-Y uh, mongabay.com uh, headed by my hero Rhett Butler. Uh, so anyway I'm just checking in and updating you as uh, while we've been, as I say, looking northward. Here's what's going on south of the border in the various tropical rainforests around the world. This is the last, going back about two weeks. The I'm, I'm just going to read you the uh, the news headlines and uh, in, in, in like the first sentence or so, I will try to figure out how to put a link to this page, although you can go on mongabay.com and find it. So without further ado, here is what is happening in the tropical forest of this planet. Okay. Uh, Mangrove deforestation is three times worse for climate than rainforest loss. <clears throat> Degradation and destruction of the world's seagrasses, tidal marshes, and mangroves may generate up to a billion tons in carbon dioxide emissions annually. There you go. Uh, and also another one, a similar story, mangroves protect coastal areas against storm dam damage. Mangroves reduce wave height by as much as 66%. Over 100 meters of forest providing a vital buffer against the impacts of storms, tsunamis, and hurricanes. But of course, the, you know, the mangroves are being destroyed at an ever accelerating rate from here to, uh, from here to China. Here's one. Yuppies are killing rhinos, tigers, and elephants. Yuppies, not elderly rural consumers, are driving the trade that is decimating some of the world's most iconic endangered species, including tigers, elephants, rhinos, pangolins, and bears at experts meeting at a workshop in Vietnam. And uh, I think they're referring mostly to the rising class of Asian yuppies, but you better believe there's still plenty of American yuppies uh, going right ahead and sending tigers and elephants to their grave. Oh boy. Controversial palm oil license issued in Indonesia orangutan forest revoked. Well, here's actually some good news from the palm oil front. An Indonesian court has instructed the governor of Asek province to revoke a controversial license owned by a palm oil company accused of destroying orangutan habitat and carbon rich peatlands on the island of Sumatra. Good for them. Uh, here's a, a uh, sky is blue, water is wet he headline. Timber and paper demand are contributing to destruction of rainforest. Demand for timber and paper is contributing to destruction of the world's most 
biodiverse rainforests and worsening climate change. According to a new report issued by uh, the Union of Concerned Scientists, I think they've been issuing that report for about, what, the past 50 years? And uh, it's been ignored for the past 50, and then it will continue. These, these scientists can be as concerned as they want. Okay, next, Amazon deforestation could trigger drop in rainfall across South America. Deforestation could cause rainfall across the Amazon rainforest to drop precipitously, warns a new study published in the journal Nature. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, next, spike in glacier melt across Patagonia since 2000. The rate of glacier melt across Patagonia, which is in southern uh, South America, has accelerated since 2000, reports a new study published in the Journal of Geophysical Research Letters. Okay, back to palm oil. Palm oil company in Cameroon, this is in Africa, drops its bid for eco-certification of controversial plantations. I haven't gotten off on a, on a rant on, these, on the eco-certification for palm oil. That, you know, a, a, an ecologically friendly palm oil plantation is almost, not quite, but almost as absurd as eco-certification for mountaintop coal removal or the uh, Canadian tar sands. There is no such thing as an eco-friendly palm oil development. And so at least this one company, and I gotta give them some credit, they're, they're not even trying to kid you anymore. They're just going back to their eco-unfriendly model because they know it won't hurt their sales. This is uh, Heracles Farms which is a U.S.-based big ag developer, will no longer seek, they're not even bothering to seek eco-certification of it. This is uh, about a 150,000 acre oil palm plantation in Cameroon. Uh, move comes amid criticism from environmental groups that Heracles is converting high conservation value rainforest for the plantation. No shit. Okay, moving on. From Cameroon to Madagascar. Deforestation is killing Madagascar's coral reefs. A sediment carried by the rivers draining the deforested areas in Madagascar is smothering local coral reefs. Increment, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, here's NASA images reveal rapid loss of Indonesia's glaciers. I didn't even realize Indonesia had any glaciers, and I guess it's not going to at this rate. Before I even realized they had them, they're gone. Satellite images highlighted last week by NASA reveal the rapid disappearance of Indonesia's only glacier. There you go. Here, let's go back to Bolivia. Bolivia should prioritize cattle ranching and law enforcement and deforestation fight. Well, no shit. Uh, should, uh, yeah, woulda, coulda, shoulda. Bolivia and every other country on this planet should prioritize environmental law enforcement and slow expansion of large-scale cattle ranching to reduce Amazon deforestation, argues a study published by the Center for International Forestry Research. There you go. Uh, let's go back over, let's head back over to Asia, to Thailand. Tiger and Cubs filmed near proposed dam in Thailand. A tigress and two cubs have been filmed by a remote camera in a forest under threat by a $400 million dam in Thailand to be built on the Mai Wong River. The dam imperils two protected areas, a national park and a wildlife sanctuary, according to World Wildlife Fund, blah, blah, blah. 
Okay, here's another uh, brilliant, uh, this is actually heading back north again. U.S. eyes massive frozen methane deposits as future energy source. Oh, Jesus. The Department of Energy last week announced research grants for projects seeking to exploit methane as a new source. Of, I won't even go there, guys. Oh. Now, here we, we actually got, got these big international bankers. And you understand the international bankers are behind all of this, but here they are directly with their hand in the cookie jar. Swiss to investigate UBS for alleged mon money laundering for Malaysian rainforest logging. We're going back over to Malaya. Here, Swiss authorities have launched a criminal investigation into whether banking giant UBS laundered money on behalf of a Malaysian politician who allegedly received illegal payments for allowing illegal logging in Borneo, reports the Associated Press. There you go. There, there's a whole lot in that sentence, guys. That would, would take me uh, about an hour to digest uh, and read between the lines. But you can, uh, this page has links to all of these stories. So as long as I can figure out how to link to this page, you can, you know, links to every one of these stories. Going over to Liberia, back to, uh, back to Africa. 40% of Liberia's forests granted for logging. 40% of Liberia's forests have been granted to logging companies operating outside the country's strict forest laws, alleges a new investigation by Global Witness. Oh, from there, let's go to Australia. Coral calcification rates fall 44% in Australia's Great Bar Barrier Reef. Now, calcification is a good thing for, that means they're making new reefs. All right, calcification rates by reef building coral communities on Australia's Great Barrier Reef have slowed by nearly half over the past 40 years a sign that the world's coral reefs are facing a grave range of threats, reports a new study published in the Journal of Geophysical Research. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, from there, uh, let's just go to the whole damn planet. The whole damn planet. Biodiversity faltering as 20% of invertebrates on this planet are threatened with extinction. Oh boy. Let's see. Well, you know, even though we're, we're going south of the border, we're still hearing about the Arctic uh, from August 30th. Obama approves preparation for oil drilling in Arctic. No shit. In the same week that sea ice in the, this is from August 30th, in the same week that sea ice in the Arctic Ocean hit another record low due to climate change, the Obama administration has given final approval to Shell to prepare for exploratory drilling in the region. Vehemently opposed by environmentalists and indigenous groups, these drilling plans are part of the Obama administration's all of the above energy policy. Oh boy, here's some indigenous groups in Panama, you know, in, in some fight that they're not being included in these, in, in these global warming reduction uh, discussions. Uh, moving on to Venezuela, survivors say gold miners in helicopters massacred village of 80 in the Venezuelan Amazon. Up to 80 people have been massacred by gold miners in the remote Venezuelan Amazon, according to reports received by the indigenous rights group Survival International. 
According to Reuters, the reports have prompted the Venezuelan government to investigate, but they've found nothing, by the way. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Of course, the Venezuelan government is not believing these Indians that these gold miners are gunning down uh, Indians from helicopters. Oh, boy. Uh, Let's see. Oh, yes, here we go. This was, is on, on August 29th. Back to the Belo Monte Dam in Brazil. Brazil's controversial Belo Monte Dam back on track after a lower court decision overruled. So Brazil's Supreme Court, the big guns, on August 29th, ordered work on the controversial Belo Monte Dam in the Amazon to resume. Gee, what a surprise. Overturning a lower court order that suspended the project less than two weeks earlier. Construction activities by Norte Energia, the, the multinational energy consortium building the dam resumed immediately according to the Associated Press. Here's, I guess this is just planet-wide. Uh, one extinction leads to another and another. A new study in biology letters demonstrates that altering the relationship between a predator and its prey can cause wide-ranging ripple effects throughout an ecosystem including unexpected extinctions, blah, blah, blah. And this is planet-wide as we barrel into the sixth major extinction in the history of this planet. Okay, going back over to Sumatra. Rainforests decline sharply in Sumatra. The extent of old-growth forests in Sumatra shrank by 40% over the past 20 years, while, ov while overall forests on the Indonesian island declined by 36%, finds a comprehensive new satellite-based assessment published in Environmental Research Letters. Again, all I, this page that I'm reading has links to all of these studies. Okay, let's jump over to Japan, where Japan declares its only river otter extinct. Japan's Ministry of the Environment declared the Japanese river otter extinct. Last seen in 1979 on the island of Shikoku, this unique subspecies was killed off permanently joining the uh, joining the sixth mass, ex mass extinction by overhunting and loss of habitat due to development. Okay, back up north again to sea ice. One of the most visible impacts of climate change, melting summer sea ice in the Arctic has just hit a new milestone as of August 27th. Scientists with the U.S. National Snow and Ice Data Center have declared that this year's Arctic sea ice extent dipped below the previous world record set in the year 2007. The, re the old record will likely not just be supplanted this year but shattered. Okay, let's go back over to, uh, I guess, Vietnam. The Mekong Dam Spree could create regional food crisis. Fish are a hugely important protein source for many people around the world, and this is no more, nowhere more evident than along the lower Mekong River Delta, where an estimated 48 million people depend directly on the Mekong River for their food and lively 
Hoods, but now a new study in global environmental change cautions that 11, 11 planned hydroelectric dams in the region could cut vital fish populations by 16% while putting more strain on water and land resources, blah, blah, blah. Here's Greenpeace, this is going back north again. Uh, Greenpeace abandons their occupation of Arctic oil drilling rig after workers throw metal at them. Blah, blah, blah. And then down to New Zealand where some flowers are on the endangered species list. And back over to Bolivia, something about some endangered macaw now numbering less than 100 individuals. Then we're going to flip back over to Burma. Burma warns of deforestation crisis. An official warned that Myanmar is facing a deforestation crisis due to poor forest management, illegal logging, and fuel wood collection, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I'm here is flooded savannas in Latin America shrinking three times faster than rainforests. Flooded grasslands and savannas in Latin America are disappearing nearly three times faster than tropical rainforest. Oh, here's some uh, good news um, that, that I actually reported over a year ago that they were actually tearing out, tearing out a hydroelectric dam in uh, Washington State where I just returned from. I, it was a rant, you know, cheering on the deindustrialization. Let the deindustrial revolution begin. My rant was a year ago and I finally had some follow-up to it and some good news right here in our own country. Chinook salmon returned to Olympic National Park after dam demolished. In March of this year, the Elwha Dam, which has stood for 99 years, was demolished in the state of Washington. Within five months of demolishing this hydroelectric dam, uh, Chinook salmon have made their way down 70 miles of long blocked off habitat and re-entered Olympic National Park for the first time in 99 years. So perhaps all these other hydroelectric dams from the Mekong River and uh, Vietnam to Thailand to the granddaddy of them all the Belo Monte Dam can take note of what happens when you demolish these planet-eating bastards. And I will finish this rant with this headline and, uh, on August 22nd. Where was I? I think I was in the state of Washington. While human society surpasses nature's budget today, I have I have had a rant about this, and I'm getting ready to have a full one, but I will we'll, uh, prime the pump with this. As of today, August, August 22nd, humanity has overshot the world's annual ecological budget, according to the Global Footprint Network which tracks global consumption related to resource availability and sustainability. The organization looks at a variety of data, including the world's fisheries, forests, agriculture, water, mining, and greenhouse gas emissions. I have a, so this page will link over, but I am going to do a whole separate rant on this coming up in one minute because nobody nobody has made it this far into this rant so I will come back at you 
with a further development, with a further uh, description of that headline, a little more in depth, in about one minute. For any of you who want to stick with me on that, but for this one, since I've lost all of you anyway, I might as well say bye guys.